Today we're going to be taking a look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring options for the 2005 Volvo XC90. Now here are what our wiring harnesses are going to look like when you pull them out of the packaging. Now the biggest differences you're going to see between the two kits I think are going to be reliability and power output. Now both of these converter boxes are going to give us the level of power that we're going to need for any standard size trailer. If you get into a trailer that has a lot of incandescent lights on it, the Kurt's probably going to be the way to go. It offers three amps per turn and brake signal, so three amps for the left, three amps for the right, and it gives us six amps for our running light circuit. With the Takancha, we've got 2.1 amps going for the left turn and brake and the right turn and brake, and we've got 5.6 amps going for the running light signal. And like we said, that should be more than enough to power any trailer with any number of LED lights or just the standard amount of incandescent lights. But if you do get into a larger enclosed trailer, maybe it's got a bunch of lights all the way around it, the Kurt's gonna give us a little bit more power output. Now, as far as reliability and dependability go, the Takancha in our experience holds up better. If this gets knocked around a little bit or beat up a little bit, we're not gonna have to worry about any malfunctions. You can see inside, while they do use surface mount technology, just like the Kurt, this has a potting material that holds that circuit board from bouncing around or shaking around, just like a rubberized kind of an epoxy material. Whereas the Kurt, the circuit board's gonna float in the middle with the two outsides kind of pressed down. So that security and that potting material, that rubberized material that can absorb shock and things like that doesn't exist here. Typically, if we have a wiring failure and we have to put in a new wiring kit, it's because the box has failed and it's typically a Kurt product. Now, the reason you're gonna wanna use something like what we have here today versus just like wiring it right directly into your taillights is because of the module boxes that are provided with the kit. These module boxes protect your vehicle. You can see each of these has the four pole flat trailer connector. Gives us right turn and brake, left turn and brake, running lights and ground. If our trailer were to have a short, that short would be sent through this wiring. Once it gets to the box, it stops it at that point. It doesn't allow that to then transfer into your vehicle's wiring system. That can save you a lot of headaches down the road. Also with the module box, these are standalone power. You can see We've got our 12 volt power wire that will connect in an easy to get to location in the back of the Volvo. And that powers our converter. So that power that we're drawing is gonna be sent through to the trailer. We're not gonna be drawing any extra power through our vehicle's lighting system. It's gonna get it all through the converter box. So this is a great way to protect your vehicle in a couple of ways. One from trailer shorts and the other from overloading the wiring system. Now both wiring kits are gonna install exactly the same almost each of them will have the power wire that's going to go right to the fuse panel in the back of the vehicle. Very easy to find. And both of them are going to have a ground wire that we want to connect. Other than that, it's just a matter of placing the T connectors between the back of the tail light housing and the factory plug. It's where it gets its name as a T connector. So we never have to change or modify any of the vehicle's wiring at all. If you had to remove this from the vehicle, you could remove it completely and there'd be no evidence of it ever being there. So we can sum it up really quickly for you. If you have a very large trailer that has a lot of lights on it and you need a lot of power, the Kurt's gonna be the way for you to go. However, if you're using just a standard trailer that has just standard lights or a bunch of LED lights on it, as long as it's just like a normal setup without a crazy amount of lights on it, the Takancha for me would definitely be the way to go because it is going to be more reliable. And that's gonna complete our look at the custom fit vehicle wiring options available for your Volvo XC90. Hope the information is gonna be helpful in selecting which kit's gonna be right for you. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.